Okay, we're gonna start having a look at the make block range. I actually have a make block ranger here, which is one of their um, kits that come. As you guys know, if you follow my channel, I've done a reasonable amount of playing with the EVG3 um, with my eldest two boys. Um, my youngest boy here now wants to start learning robotics as well. He's an absolute lover of Lego. This is just a very few of his Lego creations. He's playing with Lego all the time. But um, due to some of the problems I discovered with EV3, um, with his older two brothers, I've decided to give the MakeBlock platform a go with him learning robotics. Now, when we compare the two, the EVG3, the EV3 actually has a faster processor than the MakeBlock processor, but the your code will actually run faster on the MakeBlock. The reason for it is, is the EV3 runs uh, a Linux operating system, and then inside the Linux operating system, it runs a virtual machine, and then inside the virtual machine, it runs your LabVIEW code. So what it means is there's a lot of bloat. It has to maintain the operating system and maintain the virtual machine in order to run your code and that chews up a hell of a lot of processing power and means that your code is actually quite bogged down with the make block platform it's just an arduino and you program it using scratch blocks and each scratch block has associated arduino code with it then the arduino code just goes off to the compiler which turns the arduino code into machine instructions you upload the machine instructions directly onto the processor and the processor just executes them so there's no bloat whatsoever so although it's a slower processor it actually runs your code much faster than the ev3 now a few other things comparing the two there you're right the ev3 does come with a screen um, this doesn't come with a screen, but you can buy a screen that plugs into one of these ports. It does come with an RGB LED. So any one of those LEDs, you can light up whatever color you want. It also comes with two light sensors just there, so it can read the amount of ambient light in a room. It knows whether it's in a light room or a dark room or whether you put your hand over the top of it or not. So it can, it's got light sensors there. It's also got a sound sensor on it. It can sense sound where the EV3 doesn't have a sound sensor on board and you can't buy one to plug into it. Um, it does have a speaker. The EV3 has a speaker. It also has a three axis gyro and a three axis accelerometer on board, on the actual board. You can buy a one axis gyro to plug into the EV3, right? But this actually has a three axis gyro and a three axis accelerator already on board. It has a Bluetooth module up there, so it's Bluetooth enabled. The EV3 is Bluetooth enabled. Now it actually has on the top here, six sensor ports. You have all the different five sensor ports down there and the gray one over there. It actually has six motor ports. There's the four on top there, plus the four, the two, sorry, the two motor ports down the front there, which is what actually have the motors plugged into the moment. So it actually gives you six motor ports, six sensor ports on top there. Um, there is a smart servo plug just in there um, behind this gray one where you can plug in the, um, uh, what they call the serial um, servos, the quite smart servos where you control them by a serial bus. Um, the other thing that I like about this is being an Arduino means any Arduino hardware can be plugged into this. They have a tool for wrapping the Arduino code up into a scratch block so your kids can use it. So anything you can put onto an Arduino, you can put onto this and wrap it up in a scratch block. The EV3, there are a couple of aftermarket parts but you are pretty much limited to just what Lego supplies. So I look forward to, after a bit of time, having more and more of a play with this platform and seeing what we can build and what we can do.